everyone. How are you doing? I thought I'd do a little chit-chat, I guess. And I'm not usually into talking about things like what happened on TV, but I guess something happened there on the Oscars. And this is just my opinion. It's not right or wrong. It's just my opinion. But um, I didn't watch the Oscars. I don't really watch those things because... Um, maybe because I could foresee something like this happening. I don't know. <laughs> um, who knows? That I'm, I don't really have interest. But anyhow, the next day, everywhere you looked, it was all about it. And so this is just my, my take on what I pieced together on what happened. Again, it's not right or wrong. It's just my opinion on what I saw. And again, I don't know why I can't send you these candles. But I do. You know what it is? I put them there where they're supposed to be. And then the phone is on photo, and then when I go put it to video, it totally makes it go in a totally different area. I mean, the, the way it is, the closeness, or how far, I don't know, I veered off. Anyhow, so, the information I gathered was that um, Chris Rock, who is one of my favorite uh, comedians, did a joke, which, you know, anyone who goes anywhere where there's a comedian, you know, anything's up for grabs. So, he, um, was telling some joke. Um, I guess Will Smith's wife, her name is Jade, I guess she was in the movie G.I. Joe or something like that. And I don't know, G.I. Joe... I guess that would be an army guy who, army guys usually have their heads shaved. But anyhow, so that's a little background of what I think the movie was about because I didn't see it. So anyhow, he made a joke, and I can't remember what the joke part was. But just listening to it, not knowing all the background information, whatever, it just was a joke. And Will Smith was laughing at the joke. Might have been clapping. And then you notice he looks back as his wife and she gives the the evil the evil look like watch out or what are you doing or one of these you know these women who boss their husbands around look next thing you know his laughter and like i said he might have been clapping he goes up to will will smith um chris rock and he freaking slaps him across the face I don't know if it was a slap punch or just a slap. Boy, if it was a closed fist, he should have been rotten in jail. But anyhow, and then Chris Rock goes on, you know, makes more fun of it. And I guess some people thought it was part of the show. That never crossed my mind. I, I didn't think shows would have violence as part of it. But, uh, that, you know, that's just what, you know, everyone's talking about it. So when I watched it or re-watched re what really happened there, that never crossed my mind. So anyhow, not only does he violate another person by physically attacking them, he goes back to his seat and starts saying, you leave my wife's name the F out of the whatever. So he's screaming at this guy who he just physically assaulted. He's swearing at the guy. And then I looked again. These are tapes, you know, videos that people took. And then it's like she almost was like high on her perch. So I guess apparently, maybe I was right about the G.I. Joe thing with, you know, you go to the arm and your head shaved. I guess she has something called alopecia, which is where your hair doesn't grow. And um, so when I heard that part, I thought, okay, a lot of people have it. And they're saying Chris Rock didn't know. That she had it, but I don't really think the joke was meant about her condition. And I believe he didn't know Chris Rock because he just seems like, I mean, I've watched him for years. He doesn't seem like he would stoop that low. But anyhow, who is she on her high horse? There are people that suffer from cancer that don't have their hair. So does that mean when someone makes a comment? That their spouse is going to knock someone else out? My son was going through his cancer therapy, my older son. He didn't have hair. And um, 
I remember it was in the summertime, and when you have, when you go through chemo radiation, you, uh, I don't know if it's for all cancers, but for his, he was always cold. So he had on a, like a, I don't know, it's like at the dollar store, they have a winter little, uh, what's it called? Just a little hat. There's a name for it. I don't know. Just a little hat. It, it's, it's out of, um, like yarn, but it's kind of light. So anyhow, he had one on, but it was light. It wasn't like a heavy winter hat. Oh, what's the word? That's on the tip of my tongue. Let me think a second. I think maybe it's like called a beanie or something. I don't know. It's just a light hat. But it is like, it looks like yarn. I don't know. Um, I have a headband that I sometimes wear like that. So slight material. I don't know if I've had it in my videos. I did. I had it in one, I think. But anyhow, it's not here there. So when we were at the market, I don't know if I said that. We were at the, at the market. It's a market like where you go and you dicker with them about prices of fresh fruits and vegetables. And um, he was in a wheelchair and he had his hat on. And one of the guys that sells his wares in the market says, Hey kid, what the F is wrong with you wearing a winter hat in the summer? So did that mean I should have slapped him? Well, if I did, I'm pretty sure I'd be in handcuffs and on my way to... Uh, to being arrested because you know I'm not Will Smith. So the point I'm trying to make there is Will Smith is not all mightier than me. I'm just using me as an example because I'm talking about my opinion. And Jada, whatever her last name may be, is definitely not high and mightier than my child. So I guess the example I'm making there we have two movie stars, and we have just a mom and her kid. And a similar situation of being, being um, well, hers was better. It was a joke. I mean, this is what comedians do. I mean, you come somewhere with comedians, everything's up for grabs. I was once at a comedy show, and they were just talking about people out in the audience. I mean, people they don't know at all. So, I mean, that's what, you, you know, you expect. But later I found out. I think some called the Red Table or Red Table Conversation. I don't know. They were sitting at a red table, Jada and Will Smith. I can't even stand to say Will Smith's name. I used to like him. I have no respect at all for him at all. Because number one, if there was someone else, they would have been pulled out of there. I also heard that um, he was asked to leave. <coughs> he chose not to. He went on to get his award. People gave him a standing ovation clap. What is wrong with all those people? Well, think about all the people in the room. Who are movie stars and all the money they make and they're clapping well you know what i think they should do a donation to battered women and and men i'm sure there's probably battered men they should all make a big donation for the humiliation of standing up if they stood up i didn't see that part but clapping for him the guy who should have been taken out of there my opinion again he should not had a, a choice of would you like to leave would you leave no you both leave. Gone. I don't know. I guess you could go, go either way with her. But they should have escorted him out. And then I'm sure he would have had a little hissy fit. And made sure they put that all over the internet. You don't give him a choice. And then I heard later he went to the after party thing. And on and on and on. So anyhow. I do have a problem with people. You know who are like movie stars like that who get to break the rules or you know when athletes get to you know they get hurt even a little bit they get rushed right to an MRI and like I said I was surprised when I was able to get MRI really quickly because if you're a regular run-of-the-mill person you can't but I do have a problem with people who think they're above other people but yet, you know, people have marches and stuff for this this person's better than that or this equal rights. and on it. There's no equal rights there. If he gets to go and slap someone in the face in front of all these rich people and then they said it was watched by 15 million people, I don't know. If anyone has respect left for him, I don't know. I mean, your opinion is yours. If you still have respect for him, that's that's fine. But like I said, if that was one of us there... We would have been gone. There would be no choice. Um, could you leave? Would you leave? I don't know what 
it wasn't showing what they they just said they asked him to leave and he didn't want to you got no choice bud you got no choice you physically assaulted a person and then he even graciously just was like you know i forgot the exact words he used so i'm not going to say anything because i don't know what it is but it was like like a joke he made another joke he had every right to say something but he took the high road chris rock and like i said i chris rock is one of my favorite comedians but i also liked um i can't say his name anymore the um the sultan so it's not like i didn't like him so therefore i'm more on chris's side no no i i liked both of them but it's disgusting it turns my stomach that he got away with it he got to get his award which um i'm not even going to discuss if i think he should get his award or not or whatever but i don't think people should have stood up and and clap for him and i'm sure in their you know ritzy hotsy totsy parties they're all having fun together and this poor chris rock i just think it's awful how this this big tall guy comes up to um i think they said chris rock is 60 years old i don't think that's right he doesn't look at maybe as i don't but anyhow it just sickens me i tell you it totally sickens me and if it doesn't you and you have a totally opposite opinion of mine please share it you know i'd be interested in what you think if you watched it, if you just gathered information, put what you got, or you don't even give a darn. But anyhow, these are my opinions, because I got a problem when things aren't fair. This has been through my whole life. And I don't think it was fair that he got away with doing that. From the moment he slapped him, they should have had a security right on top of him and said he has to leave. If he said no, grab him. Just grab him and take him out of there, period, and a subject, because I think that would have been quite the sideshow because obviously people were taking videos because i saw it on the internet with the f word spoken out and um i'm sure on tv i didn't watch the oscars i'm sure they this why they have a delay because they block out those words so i doubt that word was you know on the oscars so um it's just that just again it's just my opinion it just angers me that he got away with it got to have fun and I feel really bad for Chris Rock, and kudos to him. And then I guess he was he was already booked for a comedy show, and I guess his tickets were going up to, I don't know how many thousands of dollars because people thought he'd talk about it, but he didn't. He, uh, again, took the high road. I don't know. I, I would see no reason to have no problem seeing him sue him. I kind of wish he would because it doesn't seem like he's going to get punished. Oh, Oh, if they take his Oscar away, or if I guess they, he's not allowed to be part of the, this Oscar thing, whatever. I don't even know. I don't watch it. But anyhow, whatever, whatever, you know, I hope his career is ruined because he shouldn't be. This is my finger. Why should he be able to make money? And then, you know, his apology was fake as can be. I'm sure someone wrote it up to him. Ugh. <sighs> It just really makes me upset when things are unfair. I know you can't do anything about it. But I feel really bad for Chris Rock. And for him to sue again, if he doesn't need the money, donate it to a cause. But he he needs to be punished. I mean, he may have the thought of karma or, you know, you face your maker or whatever. But it just doesn't sit right with me that he got away with doing that. And then the other backstory about it is, I guess, his wife. Smith guy there, the Jada lady uh, cheated on him with someone named, I think, Austin. I don't know. I, I looked I looked things up. I look things up if I don't know before I talk. And what I don't know, I like I say, I don't talk about because, or I say I don't really know the whole story. But I guess she did, and she called it another word. I forgot what it was, but she didn't call it like she was cheating on him. So I guess my take on this is she cheated on him. They're there at this thing. He's laughing. Will Smith's laughing at Chris Rock's joke. Then he looks back at this woman who cheated on him. And she has this look of, in other words, uh, you better not be laughing and clapping. And you could say maybe from, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was going to say you can say maybe from the hurt of his wife cheating on him brought up feelings of anger and chris rock didn't she didn't cheat with chris rock but um 
Will, Swi Will Smith needs to get mental help, that's for sure, because if that's what happens, uh, nobody's safe around him. But um, just from, and I, I took a lot of psychology and minored in it in college, it seems to me that, you know, because he probably felt emasculated when she had her affair or cheated her, I don't know, I'm not going to say. Well, she cheated. Affair, I guess, would be more than one time. I don't know about that kind of stuff. But anyhow, so that set him off. But you would think he, um, because I did watch that Red Table thing. You can look it up, I think, on the Internet. I don't know. It just happened to come up. That's how I knew about it. But anyhow, she, like, totally talked down to him, like, no big deal. And, you know, everything was made up. And they didn't make up. Again, these are just my opinions, my, observa my observations and opinions. So anyhow, obviously, um, they both need counseling or something. He definitely needs to find out what his issues are because he's like a loose cannon. And I just really feel sorry for Chris Rock. You know, I mean, it's great he took the high road. I mean, obviously, he wouldn't say anything there. In my opinion, Will Smith would have, should have immediately, well, he should have slapped him, but immediately when he did, he should have said, oh, I'm so sorry, my gosh. You know, right there at the moment, to me, in my opinion, that would be a sincere apology. But to walk back and later on, I don't know if it was later that day, you know, the next day, I don't know. But to me, again, that's not sincere. It just seems like a bunch of his, you know, his people wrote something up just so, you know, he could try to save face or whatever. But it just literally physically sickened me when I saw it. And then to come back and then to swear at him, and, oh, it was terrible. It just kind of reminded me of the show he was in that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know. He got in some trouble and his mother sent him somewhere. Well, hey, maybe that's his M.O. I don't know, but... um. Obviously, his marriage is not right for him to take it out on an innocent person who he's, you know, I'm not going to say twice his size, but a lot bigger than him. But that's not even here or there. You don't physically assault anyone. You don't verbally assault anyone. You leave your hands to home. I guess his mama never taught him. You leave your hands to home. So this is just my opinion. I usually don't do videos like this, but, you know, I thought, let's do something different. And if you want to put down your opinion on it, like I said, if you're totally, what I say, you're totally opposite, it doesn't matter. We all have a right to our opinion. That's just how I feel. Violence never solves anything. And, um, that's why our world is in the shape it's in. That's what causes wars, because people can't get along. I'm going to do another video about stuff like that but anyhow that's just my take on it do you watch the oscars and it's okay if you do <laughs> i never watch oscars or grammys or i don't know whatever those shows i just don't have interest like i like reality shows and other people don't you know we all have our own taste what we like but anyhow yep that's my that's my um my opinion and my observation and um I just feel sorry for Chris Rock. I just, you know, eh, but it's nice to see because his example, if there were any teenagers watching, is he took the high road. Because that's another thing. Uh, the Smith guy is, you know, a lot of kids look up to him. And if there's not enough violence with teenagers in this world, well, there's going to be more because they're going to think, oh, wow, he did this and got away with it. So we could do it too. You know, teenagers don't think on the level, you know, he's a movie star so he can get away with crap this should have in my opinion should have been handled you have to leave if you didn't want to leave just pull him out of there goodbye you're gone out can't come back ever again because that should you know if there were teenagers watching or even 20 year olds whatever it could be a 50 year old some men don't grow up you know um that they would see there's a consequence he had no consequence and i i highly think doubt if it's even on his or his wife's mind what happened well i don't think she really cares about him she cheated on him but um i don't think it crosses um smith's mind at all what he did so kudos to um chris rock did i say kid rock by mistake 
you know my obsession with Kid Rock there. <laughs> Chris Rock, uh, kudos to him for being the bigger person, taking the higher road and showing a, a good example. Um, but that's it. So put your opinions down there, what you think about it or your opinion or you don't care or just say hi or do you watch it or on and on and on. Um, and that's about it. So it's kind of a long video, but it's just something different. So for now, don't forget to subscribe. My lips are dry. Subscribe. Share my channel. Be kind to people because you don't know what they're going through. They might have just got slapped for no reason whatsoever. Or something even worse. Be kind to yourself. Stay safe. And continue to pray for the people across the ocean. It's unbelievable. It's still going on. I just, I can't even watch it. It's so sickening. But anyhow, I don't want to talk about that at all. That really bothers me. So continue to pray for all the people. If you have any prayer requests, always just write them down in the comments. I hope you're all doing well. Bye for now.